it is widely accepted around the world that human activity is affecting Earth's climate. From air pollution to modern society's fondness of throwing stuff away, we humans are not acting as the best custodians for planet Earth. However, with a little effort, each of us can do our part in reducing climate change. So, what could you do to protect the environment and help with climate change prevention on an individual level? Let us know in the comments below if this video is useful to you. And hit that thumbs up button. It really helps our channel grow. No doubt plastic is harmful, not only for the health of humans, but also for biodiversity. By reducing the amount of plastic you use, especially the plastic that you dispose after use, will help in reducing climate change. Considering the abundance of plastic in our lives, the task seems enormous. But, some small steps can considerably decrease the amount of plastic that we use every day. Simple ways to reduce plastic in your life can include Using a cloth bag, instead of plastic bags Using glass, clay, stainless steel, or copper bottles, instead of plastic water bottles Replace your plastic straws, with reusable steel or paper straws Shop with stores and brands, that use non-plastic packaging Always ask for a reusable or non-plastic option when shopping or getting your takeaway. Replacing fossil fuels with sustainable and renewable energy is always a good idea. The use of solar panels, for example, would save thousands of megawatts of electricity if people start to adopt an alternative energy. Setting up rooftop solar panels can be expensive. But with the advancements in technology, solar is becoming more efficient, while the costs of installations are going down. You could also explore installing other domestic-scale, renewable energy sources, like a small wind turbine or a heat pump. If these options are not practical, consider ways of cutting back on your use of energy at home. Placing lights on timers and turning the heater or air conditioning temperature down by just one or two degrees, could make a big difference. Using public transportation, not only provides a way to reduce pollution in cities, but it could also allow, you to meet new people on your journey. It also aids in reducing, the traffic congestion on streets. This in turn, further reduces the pollution from cars idling, and could allow everyone, to reach their destinations faster. There are many examples of governments incentivizing this practice. For example, the government of Luxembourg has experimented with waiving all the fares on public transportation in order to increase usage and reduce the amount of emissions and traffic. Switching to electric vehicle has become a cost-effective way of conserving energy. The prices of vehicles and installing a home-based charging station is going down and the availability of charging stations on the road, including fast charging stations, is going up. Today's e-vehicles also have much longer range than previous versions. The next few years will also see the release of a huge array of high-spec SUVs and small trucks. There are a lot of benefits to switching to an electric vehicle in addition to the reduced emissions. They are quieter and you will pay only pennies to fill up the tank. Electric vehicles will last much longer than gasoline power vehicles, as there is less wear and tear on the car. They also maintain their value much better than the gasoline-powered vehicles. Almost one-third of the food produced by farmers is thrown away. The numbers seem quite alarming, as one in nine people on the planet have limited access to food. In places, where income is low, and infrastructure is weak, 
Food loss is often unintended, as food may spoil, before it can reach the market. But in developed nations, food wastage, is often due to people buying more than they need, or stores reluctance to sell products, that does not look perfect, or is too close to its sell-by date. In both situations, the end result is similar, wastage of food and resources. In order to curb global food loss, governments in every country, should formulate strict rules, to avoid wastage. But, by being a little more conscious of portion sizes, and of how we use fresh food, you can make a significant impact at home. In fact, simply making a meal plan for the week, before going grocery shopping, ensures, that you buy only what you will be able to use, before it goes bad. This method has been proven, to be effective at cutting domestic food waste. And it will also save you money. The loss of trees, and other vegetation can cause climate change, desertification, soil erosion, less crop yield, flooding, increased greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, as well as harming the lives and livelihoods of local and indigenous people. Because forests are often cut down in order to use the land for raising cattle and food crops for export markets, deforestation does little to help local people. After a forest is cut down, the soil may contain enough nutrients for one or two harvests. The farmers and ranchers then move on to clear the next forest area. When old-grown forests are cut, it can take hundreds or even thousands of years for the ecosystem to grow back. Many flora and fauna are on the verge of extinction due to the loss of their natural habitat. Almost all devices we use these days consume electricity in some form or other, and it is a common practice to leave devices switched on or in a standby mode. This, inevitably, leads to unnecessary loss of electricity. So, turn off those electrical appliances, unless absolutely necessary. Not only will this help save your electricity bills, but will also help you do your part to stop wasting precious energy. If you have the budget, you might want to consider making your home smart with some smart home energy management solutions you'll be paid back your initial investment in no time. Ensuring the good health of our planet is for our own good. We've been exploiting the natural resources for a long. But it is high time we realize the damage it has done to our planet and take necessary steps to protect Earth. While some of these solutions might be costly in the short term, many will pay dividends in the long run after all, it is all of our responsibility to ensure our posterity inherits a clean and habitable planet for the benefit of all.